This year is becoming a watershed for Iran's unmanned systems. The armed forces are close to adopting a new combat UAV that, by the looks of it, resembles the Predator series made by General Atomics. The results so far are integrable. A much publicized showcase of unmanned aircraft in January served as a stark reminder how formidable the Ardish and Revolutionary Guards IRGC, drone arsenal is. At an indoor exhibition at the same event a variety of fixed-wing UAVs were on static display for the attending VIPs. Among the models was an armed variant of the twin-boom Cayman 12 or KAMAN-12 with a new paint scheme for the Iranian Air Force, IRIAF. The Cayman 12 is best described as a generational improvement over the long-standing Mohajer series of twin-boom medium-altitude drones. An essential feature of the Cayman 12 is the bulbous dome at the front of its airframe, this usually indicates improved terrain mapping and navigation. It appears the IRIAF adopted the Cayman 12 immediately and now enhanced it with an armed variant. Seen in the photos from Iranian media are four laser-guided bombs on hardpoints underneath the wings. This makes the Cayman 12 suited for carrying out strikes against static and mobile ground targets. The Iranian military's usage of armed drones goes back four decades and is only matched by Israel's own capabilities in drone warfare. This armed Cayman 12, whose larger engine has three propellers rather than just two, must surely have greater range and mission endurance. While the rest of the Middle East is an attractive market for military drones, advances such as the Cayman 12 along with Turkey's Barakter TB2 have put regional aerospace technology on the ascendant, albeit outside the influence of a US-led alliance system. This rapid evolution is so startling that not even militaries in the NATO alliance have managed to roll out a combat drone fleet as cost-effective and diverse. The report of the Iran Aviation Industries Organization, claiming Tehran is ranked fifth in the world in the field of manufacturing UAVs, and all this is due to local capabilities which we can develop even further. Due in large part to the fact that Iran has managed to enhance its capabilities and employ the most modern technologies after it managed to take control of an American UAV and an Israeli one. Iran's various drone models, many still under development, include the Karar, Mohajer, Fatros, and Sega. Showing footage of what appears to be a U.S. aircraft carrier in the Persian Gulf, Al Dagger explained that Iran has started using its UAVs for military missions that might prove difficult or even impossible for its traditional aerial fleet to accomplish, including to monitor Iranian airspace and the naval fleets of its enemies. Iranian officials told the network can remain airborne for as long as 48 hours, be controlled remotely, and strike targets as far as 1,000 kilometers from Iran's borders. The Iranians have been in the unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, business for several decades. The first generation of the Abel that was used during the Iran-Iraq war appears to have been a low-cost attack munition, rather than an intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR, platform. In 2021, Iran's systems go from small, lightweight short-range systems all the way up through medium to heavy UAVs in the intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance roles ISR. Not only has the portfolio grown in terms of the breadth of capabilities, but also the size of the vehicles themselves has grown. The larger the UAV, in relative terms, then the greater the payload. Iranian systems can be fitted with a variety of electro-optical sensors and weapons, 
All it requires is a flat surface for a car to drive on, even the streets of a city. The article mentioned the Shad 178 model which has not been mentioned before and says it is used for reconnaissance. The article also references a Shad 133, which Iran says was developed secretly with no official information being released. According to other foreign sources online, Iran actually tried to copy images of an Israeli Hermes 450. The Fars News report even gives a close-up of how Iran armed what they call the Shad 133. Supposedly it is also vehicle launched. This is only one example of our country's UAS. The Shad family have been developed by the IRGC Air Force. It is the IRGC Aerospace head Amir Ali Hajizadeh who is credited with unveiling this strategy. He has held the same position since 2009, so he was a key player behind building and reverse engineering US drones and apparently seeking to model Iran's drone arm on Israel's own success in this sphere. Hajizadeh unveiled a military strategy behind the drones, the reports say. He has met with the supreme leader Ayatollah Khomeini and sold him on the drones as a strategic weapon. Four years ago the Iranian leader blessed this concept and urged him to increase the number of drones. The supreme leader's advice on drones is important because it shows he has a deep understanding of the realities of combat, the report says. Drones alone do not succeed on the battlefield, but incorporating combat drones as a form of mass assault, such as using fast attack boats, can encircle the enemy at different angles. Recently, the Iranian armed forces acquired of three types of bomb-carrying drones with a range of 1,500 kilometers. The drones can monitor enemy movements from a considerable distance and are capable of combat missions. The unmanned aircraft are equipped with bombs and missiles and can fly at an altitude of up to 45,000 feet 13,716 meters. The drones were built by Iran's domestic defense industry with input from local universities.